Solving equations with variables on both sides. For this video, we start out with a picture of a hand that looks like an elephant. We're still doing our reverse PEMDAS. This time, we need to first collect all the variables on one side of the equation. The remainder of our steps stay the same. Undo any addition and subtraction, undo multiplication and division, and check your work. For example 1, we've got 13 plus 5x equals 2x minus 8. First thing we need to do is collect all our variables on the same side. So I can either undo adding 5x by subtracting it from each side, or undo a positive 2x by subtracting it from each side. Both ways will work. To me, it's going to be easier to subtract 2x from each side than it would be to subtract 5x from each side, because subtracting 5x from each side would make a negative answer. So I'm going to bring down my 13. 5x minus 2x is going to be a positive 3x. 2x minus 2x, well those cancel out, that leaves me with 0. On the right side I still have a negative 8. Next, undo my addition and subtraction. So I'll subtract 13 from each side. Thirteen minus thirteen is zero, so I just have three x. If I owe eight and I owe thirteen altogether, I owe twenty-one. The inverse of multiplying by three is dividing by three, and we'll do that on each side. And I'm left with x equaling negative divided by a positive is a negative x equals a negative 7. If I check that answer, I'm going to put in a negative 7 for all of the answers, or all of the x values here. So that's going to give me, let's see, I'm going to type this out, be a little bit neater. 13 plus 5 times negative 7, does that actually equal 2 times negative 7 minus 8? Well, 5 times negative 7 is a negative 35, so I've got 13 plus negative 35. On the right side, 2 times negative 7 is a negative 14. Thirteen plus negative 35. I have 13. I owe 35, so I'm still going to owe 22. On the right side, I owe 14 and leave change opposite. I owe 8. If I owe 14 and I owe 8, I still owe. 22. Since both sides are the same, negative 7 is the correct answer. Try this problem on your own. Pause your video at this point and try it. Did you get an answer of x equals 15? If you did, Give yourself a smiley face with a big giant nose. If you didn't, give yourself an X, go back and try it again. Once you figure out your mistake, put a circle around your X. One more example for tonight. 5 minus 4X equals 11 minus X. Here I've got a negative 4x and a negative x. To undo these, we need to add them on the opposite side. So I can either add 4x to each side, or I can add x to each side. To keep things positive, I'm going to go ahead and add 4x to each side.
when we do that, our negative 4x and positive 4x cancel out. So I just have 5 on the left. And then I'm going to bring down my 11. If I owe x and I have 4x's, I'm going to have 3x's left over. Now we need to undo the addition and subtraction. So to get rid of adding 11, I'm going to subtract it from each side. That's going to give me, if I have 5, I owe 11, I still owe 6. The inverse of multiplying by 3 is dividing both sides by 3. So x equals a negative 2. To double check that, I'm going to put it back in my original problem and make sure it actually works out. So I've got 5 minus 4 times negative 2. Does that actually equal 11 minus negative 2? I put the negative 2 in parentheses on the right hand side just to help me make sure I saw that there were two negatives there. So negative 4 times a negative 2 is a positive 8. So I've got 5 plus 8 on the left. Five plus eight is thirteen, and then eleven minus negative two. I'm going to leave change opposite. That becomes eleven plus two, which is also thirteen. Try this problem on your own. Pause your video when you think you have the correct answer. Restart and check your answer. Did you get x equals 9? If you did, give yourself a star. If you missed it, give yourself an x, go back, try it again, and circle it once you have the correct answer. You have three homework problems for tonight. Make sure you're completing these and ready to discuss them in class tomorrow. A hint on this last problem. Make sure you combine like terms before getting all your variables on one side. Have a great day.